I'm Susanne Wolf and I work at the Max Delbruck Center in Berlin and I'm a neuro, psychoneuroimmunologist. I mainly work with um, animal models for psychiatric diseases and uh, recently I work with an animal model for schizophrenia and uh, there we want to decipher the mechanisms uh, why the disease develops and um, also we want to search new treatment strategies and we came across uh, recently a cell uh, which is the mycoglia cell this is the immune cell of the brain and we will want to see if we can find new treatment strategies uh, that aims at this uh, cell um, so what we did, we um, actually isolated the microglia out of the brains of, uh, from our animal model. Um, before we did that, we um, evaluated the animals that they have certain behavior. So this is the way how we assess uh, that they are schizophrenic-like. For sure, they are not full-blown <laughs> schizophrenic, but they have symptoms that we can measure, um, that they have cognitive deficits or that they have an impairment in sensory motor gating, for instance. And also in social um, interaction. And then we isolated the microglia out of a specific uh, region, out of the hippocampus, and uh, we subjected these microglia to RNA sequencing. So we can see the whole transcriptome uh, of these microglia. And we saw a huge shift there that um, a massive deregulation of genes. So we had one cluster where genes were massively downregulated and another cluster where genes were massively upregulated compared to control mice. And when we treated them with the uh, minocycline, which is an antibiotic, um, everything normalized uh, on a transcriptomic level and also on a behavior level. So we have here not a causal uh, effect, but we see a very close link uh, between the behavior and the uh, microglia transcriptome after the treatment with minocycline. For me, as a basic researcher, it is very important to interact with uh, clinicians and to learn uh, from the clinicians, and that's actually um, one of the main reasons why I accepted because I knew it's going to be a conference where a lot of clinicians present and first of all for me it is always a motivation yeah because I don't see patients and I don't see the outcome of my work directly so and also to interact and really see um, and talk with the uh, clinicians what is needed what they know from the clinic so we can apply it in our uh, basic research. So what I particularly enjoyed uh, was today the session about um, the um, gene um, or relations towards the genome and autism uh, disorder that was very, very informative also from a uh, methodological point of view, how uh, he presented the analysis, so that was perfect. But in general, I also really like the um, organization of the uh, symposia and how it is laid out so that you, for instance, do these lunch uh, sessions that you have the possibility uh, to also go to smaller um, sessions and uh, have a closer interaction uh, combined with these uh, plenary lectures. And I, I think it's really perfectly organized. I've been to many meetings, but this one really, it's really amazing. I have to say, yeah.